Hello friends, this is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the stream reduction property or you can say stream reduction uh, operation. The API has many terminal operations which aggregate a stream to a type or to a primitive. For example, we have a count, max, mean, sum. These are the API, but these operations work according to the predefined implementation. And what if a developer needs to customize a stream reduction mechanism? There are two methods which allow to do the same. The reduce and the collect method. So if I can show you, when you go to the, go to the stream interface and if you search for the reduce method, then you can see there are three flavors of reduce method. Right, let's go for the first one. So first one reduce which returns the generic data type and which is sorry I, I was supposed to show you first reduce method which is accepting only single parameter and that is nothing but the accumulator and that returns uh, that ret uh, that returns the I mean generics of optional now second reduce method we have which accept two parameter right first is the identity and second is the acc accumulator and third flavor we have a reduce method which accepts three parameter and first parameter we have a identity second is accumulator and third is something is called combiner so let's discuss what's what is the identity accumulator and combiner so here uh, you can show in the slide uh, the reduce method there are three variations of this method which i have shown you in jdk which refers by their signature and return types they can have the following parameters so first parameter i have shown you that is identity the initial this is initial value of an accumulator or default value if a stream is empty and there is nothing to accumulate now second parameter is called accumulator a function which specifies a logic of aggregation of elements as accumulator creates a new value for every step of reducing the quantity of new values equal to the stream size and only the last value is useful so accumulator basically we have a something is called a lambda expressions right which performs some behavior or some action now finally we have a combiner uh, a function which ag which aggregates results of the accumulator combine combiner is called and only a parallel mode to reduce results of accumulator from different threads so basically to ex execute combiner uh, will have to always create a parallel parallel stream so here is the eclipse and i have created a project with name a stream reduction demo and here let's do some r and d and try to understand these apis so First of all, I am going to create. We have a int stream class which we have already discussed in previous video tutorial. So int stream, we have a method is called range. And the range here, I am going to take one to four, and I will call reduce method on it. Reduce method on it, and first reduce method I am going to use, and that here I am going to. Use supply I'm going to write a uh, lambda expressions basically lambda expression so I would write a plus b here we'll have to specify bracket and this call will return us uh, optional int right you can say reduced this is local variable and we can print value of optional int by calling a method is called get as int and if I try to run it So this is printing 6 so that is nothing but the 
value will be calculated like this so range so here basically we have called range value right and last uh, la whatever last value we are specifying that is exclusive so 1 plus 2 plus 3 right so 3 plus 2 5 and plus 1 6 so that's why we are getting value as a 6 so here it is using nothing but the accumulator right accumulator is just accumulating the results and that starts from 1 2 and 3 last number is exclusive one right as parameter exclusive and this first is inclusive that's why we are getting the result as 6 now next thing we are going to write now first flavor of reduce method we have used now let's separate this output from some marker now I'm going to use again int stream and I will take range method again and I'm going to call reduce reduce method and at this time I'm going to call second flavor which takes first parameter as identity and second parameter I'm going to specify again lambda expression itself and result of this I'm going to store in local variable I would say variable name is reduced two params and if I try to print result of this so directly we got the result as a int if I try to print it then I got the value as 16 so how we are getting 16 over here so let me tell you so basically this is adding again value of previous right so that is nothing but a 6 so when you call int stream dot range then basically uh, that is taking value from 1 to till 3 and this combiner is this accumulator is not combiner but accumulator is adding value 1 to plus 3 and that is getting added into the identity value so 10 is the identity value and plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and this will give you 16 right so that's why we are getting value as 16 over here so this is the second flavor of reduce method now let's try to understand the third flavor of flavor of reduce method so so here result will be the same as the previous example that is 16 and there will be no and what I, one thing I wanted to introduce here over here and that is uh, yeah that's fine so here I think you understood how this uh, accumulator is executing and that is added into the identity and finally we got the result as 60 now uh, next thing we are going to discuss a third flavor of reduce method so here I'm going to create as list and here we are passing array like 1 2 and 3 and here I'm going to call parallel stream over here and after that I'm going to call reduce method on it so here I'm going to I'm going to use this flavor which accepts three parameters so identity I'm going to supply 10 now second parameter I'm going to specify lambda expression itself uh, as a reducer as a accumulator sorry as a accumulator I have specified and combiner I am going to specify uh, as a lambda expression itself and here I am going to specify a comma b and I would say lambda expression sign and I am going to write more than one statement that's why I have an open bracket and here to write a logger message uh,
combiner was called something like this and finally I'm gonna return value a plus b so this statement is completed now return type of this I'm going to store in some local variable sorry so return type of this I'm going to store in some local variable and here this is returning as integer itself and I'm trying to print it sorry local variable name is reduce itself now if I try to print it then look at the how much so here now combiner is getting called twice and we are getting value as the 36 so let me explain what is happening over here so I hope you can see the source code over here the result here is different that is 36 and the comp combiner was called twice here the re reduction that is third argument is nothing but the reduction so here the reduction works by the following algorithm accumulator ran three times by adding every elements of the stream to the identity so here basically accumulator ran three times and every time accumulator is adding those value in the identity elements right uh, uh, these actions are being done in parallel right because we have called parallel stream so these action basically called in uh, done in parallel as the result they have 10 plus 1 10 plus 2 and 10 plus 3 and now combiner can merge these result uh, these three results it, it needs two iteration for that so so you have a three value combiner has a three value right so 10 plus 1 11 first value is 11 10 plus 2 is 12 and 10 plus 3 is 13 so now combiner has three values so, so combiner has uh, called in two iterations in first iteration combiner is just adding these two value last two value 12 plus 13 which is 25 right which will give you the 25 now in next iteration combiner is just adding 25 and plus first element that is 11 so that's why we are getting over here 36 right and we have given the one SOP in real scenario you can specify logger message over here so that's why this combiner is getting calls twice right and final result 36 we are getting over here so i hope you understood how uh, reduce method method works so we have seen all three flavors of reduce method so first reduce method is taking single argument second reduce method is taking two arguments and third reduce method is taking taking three arguments so i hope you enjoyed learning this api and see you in next video tutorial thanks for watching this video